All right. If you have never tried Linux and you're curious about checking it out, look no further than this next distribution. This is by far one of the easiest to use and one of the best Linux distributions for beginners. And of course, I'm talking about Zorin OS 6 right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, how about that new soundtrack, hey? Well, actually, it's not really new. It's the same song. I just remastered it and uh, changed some of the instruments and that sort of thing. Uh, let me know what you think about it below. All right, we are looking at Zorin OS 6. And let me tell you what, folks. This is a wonderful replacement for Windows 7. This is a magnificent distribution for beginners. The nice thing about this is it is highly customizable and allows you to give it the look that you want. For instance, this uses the Zorin look changer, which allows you to pretty much choose your experience, Windows 7, Windows XP, or GNOME 2. Now, something that uh, I would highly recommend is that if you can spare the 10 bucks, American, uh, I highly recommend that you get the Zorin Ultimate Edition that is available. It's well worth the amount of money. I actually sent a donation in last year for the Zorin OS 5 Ultimate, and I thought it was really great. It has a bunch of additional features uh, that are not included in the core, but the thing is you can get those additional features if you dig around online. Now this is a well thought out operating system. But I noticed something that really kind of, you know, rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, but I'll get to that in a moment. Now, at the bottom of the panel here, you will notice that this includes the Avant Window Navigator, one of the best uh, panels that I have seen for a Linux distribution. You'll notice if you look at the top of my screen here, I actually have that running. It's very nice. It's highly customizable. You can make it your own. Okay, and this also uses GNOME Menu. And GNOME Menu uh, has an appearance like the uh, Windows uh, Start Menu, but you don't have to have that look if you don't want it. If you right click on it and select Preferences, then you can change its icon. You can chase, change its icon set. You can even choose a different theme. And there are a number of them that come pre-installed with this. So if you go with a dark theme, maybe this is how you would want your menu to look. There are so many different choices if you, that, that, you know, uh, that you can use. I actually use this one for a short period of time. So there are a number of choices here. Now, something else I didn't mention is when you do log in, you have a choice. You can log into a GNOME Classic session that will give you comp his. Or you can log into the Zorin desktop, and that is what we are looking at right now. I decided to log into the Zorin desktop because I really like the appearance of this, and I've kind of lost my, you know, flavor for uh, the wobbly windows and the compiz effects and that sort of thing, but they are there if you want them. Let's have a look at some of the applications you get with this. Okay, and in accessories you have some standard tools that will allow you to get the most of your operating system. You get a few games that are pre-installed with this. There are some graphics tools. Uh, you get the GIMP and of course the Shotwell Photo Manager and a simple image viewer. Okay, now um, you also get a Google Chrome with this. There is also the Zorin Web Browser Manager. And with this, you can pretty much choose any web browser that you want. Uh, you can, uh, you can with the click of a button, you can select the web browser that you need. Also, In sound and video, 
you get uh, the cheese webcam booth, you get a disc burner, a movie player, and then the open shot video editor. And this is what really rubbed me wrong on this one. To get the most out of open shot, you really need to have Blender and Inkscape installed. Inkscape for doing your titles and Blender for using the 3D video uh, function for creating 3D titles and there are a number of them so you might want to download and install the latest Blender and Inkscape. You also get Rhythmbox, a wonderful music player, a sound recorder and VLC which will pretty much play just about anything that's out there right now. And then of course you have a number of system tools including Ubuntu Tweak which will allow you to uh, tweak your system and uh, change some of the hidden settings. All right, you also get Wine for running some of your Windows applications and games. It won't run all of them. And then, of course, the Software Center. All in all, I'm really liking the Zorin OS. I highly recommend that you uh, pay the small donation fee and get the ultimate version. And if you've never used Linux before and you want to try it for the first time, Zorin is definitely a distribution you should try out. Mm -hmm.